That is his sixth start in the Arca Remax series and five finishes in the top five. Yep, he has just been awesome. Every race he's been in, he's been strong. He does the right thing. Uh, you know, Sean Parker, the crew chief on that, said this kid really listens. He does what he says. He's very disciplined and he does the right things. He said, you look for him in the future. He's going places. Driving for Bruco Motorsports. That number 62 will find its way to victory lane, but before he will have to do a little celebration. For you. Hang on. His team coming across the infield, wanting to celebrate with them. Coleman, away. Coleman wanting the, hang on, hang on, hang the checkered hang on. flag. Hang on. Also, I'm sure wanting to do either a burnout or some type of celebration that Coleman will be able to cherish for a lifetime. His first win in the ARCA Remax series. Oh, dropped the flag there again. Roush motor in this car. Uh, just strong, strong piece. Drop the clutch there <laughs> to get it refired up, and uh, he's back underway. Ex Dale Jarrett car. Smoking them tires. Into the grass. He'll do donuts wherever he has to. Yeah, he does. Stephen Wallace here last year lit the back tires on fire. This year <laughs> earlier, I'm sorry. That went time earlier. Time flies so fast. Yes, he actually did. Actually had fire on the rubber that was left on the racetrack after his burnout. That was an impressive burnout. And look at this one by the young 18-year-old Brad Coleman, just turning 18 in February, just graduated from high school back in May. And now in July, Brad Coleman will find victory lane. The winner at Kentucky Speedway, Brad Coleman.